Today I'm going to be teaching you the best, easiest, and fastest way to identify and price your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I surprisingly haven't seen too many videos on this topic that aren't 20 minutes long, and from buying and selling Yu-Gi-Oh for so long, I know that many people do not know how to correctly value their cards. The good news is that there are only three simple steps needed to identifying your card, and four to finding its value. So let's get into it. Step one is identifying the name of your Yu-Gi-Oh card. The name will be at the top of the card. For example, this card's name is Dark Magician of Chaos. Step two is to find the code that is on the right hand side underneath the artwork of your card. This code corresponds with the set that your card is from. For example, this card's code is IOC-065. IOC corresponds to the set Invasion of Chaos, and the 065 means that this card is the 65th card in that set. Step three is to determine whether or not your card is first edition. First edition cards can potentially have more value than non-first edition cards, which are known as unlimited cards. If your card is first edition, it will say first edition underneath the left hand side of the artwork. This is unless it is a newer card and then it will be stamped at the bottom left hand side of the card. As you can see here, this Dark Magician of Chaos is first edition. One prominent exception to this is limited edition cards. If a card says limited edition, then know that this is the only printing of that card and it did not come in first or unlimited edition. After you have these th three pieces of information, you will need to head over to tcgplayer.com. TCG Player is the largest card market at the moment and is the standard for finding the market value of your cards. Once you're at the home page of the website, you need to go up to the search bar here and type in the name of your card. So I will type in Dark Magician of Chaos. Once you have done that, you want to p click on the name of the card in the drop down menu. So right here. What you don't want to do is press enter or return after you have typed in the name. Because if you do, it may bring up cards that are not the same as the one you're looking for. For example, if I press enter here, then it brings up other cards such as the Dark Magicians, Black Magician of Chaos, regular Dark Magician, uh, even booster boxes. Uh, whereas if you click the name of the card in the drop down menu, it only brings up the different versions and printings of that card. Next you must identify your version utilizing the code that you identified in step 2. You can either search through all of the cards manually, looking at the codes which are listed here, all the different codes here, or what you can do is use Control or Command for Mac F. So if I press that, it will bring up this box here. Uh, this lets you search through any text on the website. So and it will highlight it on the page. For example, if I type in IOC-065, then it brings up my card right here. As you can see, it's the exact same as my card. Uh, and this will be your card when you do this with whichever card you are trying to look up. Now, if I click on this card, it will take me to its page. So now you have identified your Yu-Gi-Oh card. And once you're here, it gives you all sorts of information about the card, such as the rarity, the monster type, the level, attack and defense, its effect, and what set it's from, which is Invasion of Chaos here. But also, it includes the market value. Notice there are two different market prices for first edition, up here the green one, which corresponds to here, and unlimited, which is blue. If your card is limited edition, it will only have one line on the graph. It's important to note, however, that these market prices are only for near mint cards. This is a conditioning standard. This brings us to the fourth step, which will allow you to find the exact price of your card. Step four is that you must determine the condition of your card. How do you determine condition? TCG Player actually has a guide for this. So you will want to open a new tab and search TCG Player Card Conditioning Guide. And then you will want to click on this link here.
This site will tell you all you need to know about card conditioning. As you can see here, there are different conditioning standards such as near mint, lightly played, moderately played, heavily played, and damaged. And it gives you the conditions for all of these and uh, what standards your card has to attain to to gain a certain condition. After you have determined the condition of your card, you want to go back to the tab with your card on it and scroll down until you get to the active listings. These are all the cards at which people are selling at the moment. On the left hand side you will see filters as you see here all these different filters. You will want to click on the filters which uh, correspond with your card. For example this Dark Magician of Chaos is first edition so I'll click the first edition filter and see it updated and it is in near mint condition. I've already checked this card and determined its condition. So it is in near mint condition. Now it brings up all listings uh, for this card. So what you'll want to do is find the lowest price seller with a gold star. The gold star is what you should refer to to determine the price of your card because gold star sellers are known to be more accurate with condition than non gold star sellers, mostly because they have sold more cards. So my card price as a near mint first edition Dark Magician of Chaos from IOC is $139. This may differ from the market price because market price is determined by recent sales. So you can view latest sales here and by clicking view sales history. So now you know all you need to know about determining the value of your card. I hope this video has helped you. And if you want to see more like it and follow my second hand collecting journey, make sure to like, subscribe, and keep a lookout for the next video. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.